Okay, YouTube, these are a few of my uh, portable, easy access type of crap hit the fan cheap items that I think all preppers, hunters, and campers need in their store. Now, what I have over here, we'll start right here. This is going to be used as a heating source for my uh, Coleman Camp oven. It is a butane burner and it uses that butane fuel right back there in the back. Let's see if I can focus that in for you. And that butane fuel lasts probably about three and a half, four hours on low, maybe a little bit longer depending on, on how you're using it. But I am going to definitely be using this as my heating source for the Coleman um, Camp oven. What you do is you take this um, canister of fuel and you put it in the side right here and then you turn the knob and you um, ignite it with the, um, the um, igniter. Now over here I have a griddle that I have used several times to cook bacon um, on and eggs and things like that. It's pretty heavy. It's cast iron and uh, it's something that you can use over a campfire, you can use over a regular burner and it cleans up pretty easily. And right here is the uh, stop, uh, what is it, the Dutch oven, I'm sorry, stop Dutch oven. And this is made by Francis Stop over in France. And that in that area in France, they are known for their cookware. So I had to get this. And this is the reason why. It has the knobs on the bottom of the lid. And you can turn it over and cook like this. Or you can cook um, from this side. You can put it in your home oven. Or you can put it over a campfire. And it's uh, pretty durable. It's really heavy. So one of the smaller ones, it gives you the size right here on the lid. And uh, it's honestly a very good finish. These cost right at about, you can get them online for about 60 bucks, or you can get them um, in store for about uh, 75 to 100, depending on where you get it from. Now, right here are my thermoses. And uh, I got three of them simply because I'm going to be using them for three different food sources or water sources or beverage sources. One will be used for rice and stews. And from what I've been told, I've never tried it. You can cook your rice and then put it in there. And you don't have to cook it all the way, but this will finish cooking it. So that's a good thing to, uh, to know. And you can do your beans, your dry beans the same way. So I'm going to be using one for dry beans, one for beverage, and then one for rice and stew. So that's the reason why I opted to go with three of them. And you can never have um, too many thermoses, especially not the kind that keep your food and your beverages cold for up to 24 hours and warm for up to 24 hours. Now, in the back back here, I think every home should have a fire extinguisher. And that one I use for my home, the large one in the back. But this small one that you see right here, this is one that I will be using for my bug out trailer. And the reason why I opted to go with a smaller one is because it's extremely portable and it says it ignite, uh, excuse me, it puts out uh, electrical fires, trash and um, garbage fires as well as grease fires. And uh, I thought that was extremely nice to uh, have in my, in my bug out trailer just in case. And I'm always preparing for the just in case. Also, if you're going to be using in any camp area or bug out situation a generator, of any sort, small, large, gas, diesel, um, alternative fuel, you might want to get a carbon monoxide alarm. So I'm going to put these in my trailer and um, get them um, set up in there. I got these, and I'm going to put them right there so you guys can see it. I got these. These are the uh, paracord bracelets. I purchased these, and normally they run about 10 bucks, depending on where you, you purchase them at. But the Dollar Tree in my area had them. They're not 550, they are 430 tested. And I haven't tested them, but they say tested. And they're 430 paracord with seven braided strands, and it's about seven feet. So I opted to get about four of them and um, just to see how they wear and what's going on. So I'll let you guys know about that. But pretty much that's that. And this is my video for cheap, must have, crap hit the fan items. Okay guys, this is another cooking option for Crap Hit The Fan. What, how I got this was one of my friends works at a, a recycle place, a garbage dump is what I call them. And he called me and said that somebody had dropped off this nice um, cast iron wood gas stove. And he asked me did I want it and um, I told him yes, but there was no way I was going to be able to get this thing home. So. 
he loaded it on his truck with a crane and bought it to me. Someone offered him $200 uh, before he could even get it to me, but he opted to, uh, to give it to me anyway. And um, <laughs> I'm glad he did. Even though I don't have it inside my house, this is definitely a great cooking option just in case the crap does hit the fan. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for viewing A Woman's World Out.